ultimately the treatment concerns that you have about seeing the specialist or and the timing around seeing the specialist and so forth or the risks of seeing the specialist that you can see if you really step back from that that there's like a, a fear of future consequences and and the worst consequence the ego will say is the wor what is the worst form of sickness I always say what is the worst form of sickness to the ego says is death you know that's that's the ultimate outcome to be avoided and so when we look at the fear of death we are told you think you're afraid of dying but actually you're more afraid of living you're more afraid of love you're more afraid of light because the ego has convinced you that light love God is the end of your individuality the end of your specialness as a unique human being and it's an identity confusion that's so flipped around now that what seems to be the fear of death is actually we find there's a fear of, of waking, there's a fear of, of heaven, there's a fear of, of God. Really, the, one of the ego's biggest tricks is first it tries to convince the mind very deeply that it's a body and then it puts great faith in in the analysis of and protection of that self-concept of a body so it's always quite concerned about making the right moves instead of worrying so much about doing the right thing I would say come back to a place of calm and connection and prayer and remind yourself it's more important to think in peace and let the doing flow from that than it is to try to figure out the behavior choices because St. Augustine, a very famous theologian from over there in Europe, said, love and do what you will. You see how he, he was focusing on, on back to your state of mind, come back into alignment as best you can, come back in, and then from that state of connection, you will be given the instructions you may not hear a voice but you will you will feel them you will intuitively feel oh, that feels good that feels right <laughs>